impulse voltage generator by using what's your lab. Okay, so this concept can be easily understand by using the virtual lab IT curve tool. Okay, in Google, so by pressing by entering the IIT Karpur virtual lab. So we'll get this this is the option, first one. And, uh, so in that uh, there are different types of labs are there. Technology CAD, virtual laboratory and uh, multi-place, multi-phase flow, virtual lab and mine ventilation. So our uh, main concept is virtual high voltage lab. So by pressing this, so you would get uh, the different types of uh, uh, interaction about uh, high voltage laboratory. Okay. Here, so why high voltage laboratory? So by using virtual lab, we have to understand the uh, to avoid the unnecessary losses over a long distance. This to power is is invariably transmitted higher voltages. Okay. In fact, the country entering at a stage where transmission has reached ultra high voltage levels. Okay. And uh, high voltage laboratory uh, needs to be established to carry out fundamental studies of insulating materials, to carry out the performance and uh, evaluation of prototypes and also assess the condition of high voltage power operators before their erection and uh, installation. Okay, so uh, there are uh, two types of impulse generators. That first one is IVG. This is called impulse voltage generator. Impulse, impulse voltage generator IVG. Generally, you can call it IVG. And the next impulse current generator that is called ICG, impulse current generator. So I'm already explained uh, about uh, wave front time and wave tail time. Uh, wave tail time. So this the time is called wave front time, two microseconds, and uh, wave tail time, fifty microseconds. Okay. So uh, when in high voltage laboratory uh, must at the at least have the following ex equipments. Okay. In labor in high voltage laboratory must at at least uh, have the following ex equipments. So there are high voltage AC test source with associated measurement setup, okay? And uh, impulse voltage generator along with the requisite measuring setup and uh, next uh, high voltage capacitance and last tangent measurement bridge, okay? And uh, high voltage DC test source and uh, next uh, partial discharge measurement system and MEG, okay? So these are the terms, some, uh, some equipments are required to understand the lab, high voltage engineering lab. And here, uh, there are different types of applications of industrial, industrial applications, high voltage engineering lab. First one, photocopying. Okay, second one, electrostatic precipitator. Okay, and then it's electrostatic coating and the electrostatic separation of minerals and X-rays. So these are the different types of uh, industrial applications of high voltage engineering. Okay, and uh, next, uh, so these are the different types of concept they are uh, given and like this manner in introduction. And uh, so press your uh, list of experiment. So, so there are different types of list of experiments are there. So on that first we have to concentrating on study of impulse voltage generator. By pressing the uh, study of impulse generator, so you will get, you will get like this. Okay. So study of impulse generator, introduction theory, object to simulator procedure applications. These are the different types of uh, icons are observed here like this. Uh, press here simulator. So this is the simple ex ex experiment uh, setup. Okay. So IVG simulator, impulse voltage generator by pressing the impulse voltage generator. So so like that uh, so we are getting so these are the called controllers controllers so these called controllers and it's called simulator and called instructions and called equivalent circuit diagram 
this is called equivalent circuit diagram this uh, simulator so experiment complete experiment so looking like this okay so this red color these are called capacitors this is called capacitor 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 so this is called spark gaps spark gaps here so this also spark gap okay and uh, so this is the equivalent circuit too. so this is the equivalent circuit so this is called a supply voltage i voltage supply by using rectifier we have to convert ac to dc and then the cap all capacitors are charged okay during starting condition the spark gap we have to maintain some distance in between these two we have to maintain the some distance more distance okay in between these two so at that condition oh, the all capacitors are charging like a uh, parallel okay under this opening condition the uh, this opening this is also open this is also open this is also open under opening condition the all capacitors are charging in parallel manner okay so here rs is called uh, so here rs is called uh, charging resistor these are all called rs rs here charging resistor rf is called friend resistor rf here rf are friend resistors rt is called tail resistor here rt rt tail resistors friend resistor and tail resistor by using that we friend time and we so we have to control that we friend time and we fail times okay so by using rf and we have to control the we friend time and by using rt we tail time we have to control we tail time by using rt by using rf we have friend time and r1 is called damping resistors of voltage divider so this is called these are the different types of damping resistors of voltage divider r1 is called damping resistors of voltage divider and rp is called terminal resistance of measuring cable so here rp is called terminal resistance of measuring cable and w is called measuring cable so we have to test the cable by applying the high voltages it's clear and then next c1 is called low voltage capacitance voltage divider so this also c1 is called a low low voltage capacitor voltage divider and c2 is called a low voltage capacitor voltage divider is called low voltage capacitance voltage divider c2 and p1 is called oscilloscope oscilloscope that is called cro p1 is called cro Okay, this is called oscilloscope CRO and it is called peak voltmeter. By using this, we have to measure the very high voltage by using peak voltmeter and uh, by using oscilloscopes. So we have to uh, get one graph about impulse voltage in it. Okay, so this is the equivalent circuit of uh, uh, impulse voltage generator. Okay, uh, this is called spark gap. Okay, this is equivalent circuit. So under simulator, so these are the different types of input voltages. So V not is called output voltage. So by adjusting output voltage, you have taken here 15 kilovolts, 15 kilovolts, and CG is called charging capacitors. I'm adjusting a 0.655 microfarads. C1 is called a capacitor, potential voltage divider capacitance, 0.002 microfarads. Uh, front by using that. Uh, wave friend time can be controlled rf by using rf wave friend time by using rt wave tail time we have to control the wave tail time by using tail resistance by using rf we have to control wave friend resistance and a spare gap spare gap distance is 7 cm so i'm adjusting uh, 7 by 8 i'm taking approximately 8 okay so after pressing start experiment Okay, press start experiment and then open ground switch. Okay, so here ground switch is there. So when uh, pressing the open ground switch, the switch is open and capacitor will be charging. Okay, so I'm opening the switch by pressing open ground switch. So the ground switch is open like this. And the charge capacitors by pressing this, these all capacitors are charged to maximum voltage. Okay. So, so it indicated like this, indicate like this, capacitors are charging. Okay, these all capacitors are fully charged. After that, uh, okay, 
so trigger generator uh, by, by pressing this trigger generator the distance between the spark gaps is goes on decreasing and very high voltage appear across the test object Tr trigger generator so try to consider the distance is goes on decreasing and very high voltage appear so that will be observed by using graph okay so this is the graph you are so try to consider here uh, so very very less term here peak voltage is called 30.59 kilovolts 30.59 here peak voltage is called 30.59 and the front time in 0.5 microseconds here very very less term this is called front wave front time and this is called wave tail time 0.5 microseconds microseconds wave front time is very very less and uh, time in microseconds that is called tail time tail time in microseconds 79.5 microseconds so these are not fixed as according to the our uh, values uh, capacitor charging resistor char rs rf rt according to that this values this uh, wave front time and wave tail time is change okay so this is about uh, impulse voltage generator by using actual lab is clear uh, try to observe this uh, simulator in uh, different uh, positions uh, so so like this okay so by dragging like this so the back side of uh, experiment okay this is called sphere gaps okay this is called capacitor so 1 2 3 6 capacitors are used here okay so this is called ground switch okay so ground switch so okay. so when we are pressing start experiment so open ground switch the ground switch is open like this charge capacitors so capacitors are charging like this understand and uh, after charging capacitors trigger voltage okay so the trigger voltage condition so like this trigger and the, uh, wave tail time and wave front time appear so that is called peak voltage 27.276 according to the respective values so this voltage are changing so wave front time 0.5 microseconds and uh, wave tail time 50.5 microseconds like this so we are getting uh, by using this virtual lab 